Hello, Aku here again. Welcome back to Resident Rise 3. I am on the server at the minute with Koyanti, and I am going to carry on with that little bit of Britannia that I started with. I'm going to start on Blood Magic as well, and we're going to see where we go from there. Now, what I want to do with Britannia is I want to make some stuff. Now, I did a couple of things after after the episode yesterday. The diamond and the living stone I had in there, I combined them into a mana tablet. So diamond into a mana diamond, so only by the stone, you get an empty mana tablet. And then I filled that up because when I came on this morning, because my, my base is chunk loaded, so a chunk loader there, my mana pool was actually full, which was cool, because I turned the flowers off because I've got like more than a stack of each, so that'll do me for now. I'm gonna barrel I'm gonna I'm gonna get a barrel full of each flower eventually. But until I get space for barrels, because this place is a bit compact, uh, I've done that. I've done this, this is a straight up copy from um from a direwolf build. Now, this is f f more than I understand what's going on here, and I've done it wrong because it's not working properly. But I've set it so that if there's less than 64 living rock in this chest, it should take a stone and place it. But it only does my first one, it doesn't do all eight. Uh, I thought I'm doing wrong. I've got a for each, and then it for each is set to. I don't know what I'm doing wrong, to be honest. So I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna do that a simpler way. I'm gonna have a separate one for wood. Rather than have rather than have one that does wood and stone, I'm gonna have a separate one. I'm gonna do it so it takes one barrel and just fills a barrel. So as long as there's room in the barrel. That's my plan anyway. I've been messing around with that. So I have semi automated the rock. I've not done the conditions for the wood. The the wood would be a condition off there and I'd do the wood instead then. Or off, off, either off there or off there, I can't remember. One or two, but I, I'm getting a bit. I'm getting a bit of living rock. <laughs> uh, I'm going to have to do a bit of crafting of these runes as well, and a bit some of the runes. So, what I need first is. I made a little. This kind of Britannia. I don't know if I did that on camera. I had a little explorer yesterday as well. I had a little. Look around for a witch. I have made a hang glider because boats kept smashing. Hang glider is just 12 leather. And three sticks, so six level two sticks there, another one of them there, and a stick in the middle gets you a hang glider. They're pretty cool. I've got my uh, safari and it really to capture a witch there. Nof and nothing else in here, no, nothing else in here. Um, I don't think I've done anything else down here. So I, I spent a couple of hours this morning trying to get me a draw on that, but I, <laughs> it's a little bit beyond my uh, my current understanding of all that works. Can I sleep yet? Well, I've been tidying my um, my outside area up a bit. I'm going to change all the bricks. Notice that's new, by the way. Your sleeping bag doesn't take your chest plate off. That's new in this version. I'm guessing this version of open blocks. So I've widened this path so it's three. So they're all threes. There was a nasty blood moon yesterday when I was on after I'd recorded, and when I came on, there was loads of exploded stuff. Chisely goodness. Uh, so up here, I've been as I've been getting more flowers, I've been expanding my day blooms. I've actually got room for another 32 nightshades. So nightshades do the same as day blooms, but at a night, obviously. Um, I've actually got room for 30, 36. We can have, we can, I could have a night bloom here as well. Um, but I'm not going to do that extra one there. So I'm, that's almost the maximum you can have. But it's not really, not quite the maximum. But that's getting me, as you can see, I've got a nice amount of mana there. And I've just made a couple of manual farms for now. I'm used to having IC2. And IC2 has the crop sticks that I've used for forever. Um, until I work out what I'm going to do. Uh, I've done them like that for now. These cotton plants, I've got for two reasons. One, obviously, I can make string and wool out of it. But two, when they're in this pink stage like this, if you break them, you get more than one seed back. So... I don't know if everyone knows that, but I've, when they're in the pink bit, that's how you multiply your seeds with it. So you can multiply seeds really easy with them. So I've been using that to get the seeds to make the uh, make the stuff for my Britannia stuff. Now what I actually want to do is I want to make some armor and some balls and accessories. So what actually where should I be? Oh, oh you son of a no. These horrible mobs. Ah, stuck in a web. Screw you. I'm running off. 
I'm going to go down here because I have got no armor, as you can see. I am having a rough time. Get away, you, you douche. You can stand outside for a bit. I was in here yesterday. That we had a blood moon, and um, I don't know how many eight points he's got. Oh, never. As if that's happened. <laughs> um, well, Blood Moon was an Ender Mini in my base, so I killed it, and then an Ender Mini boss spawned in, and he just knacked me when it, when it killed me. Uh, he was invisible and everything, and he was camping my grave, so I kept trying, my grave was down here. I kept trying to get my grave, and I just couldn't get my grave. He, uh, he, made, a, he made a mess of me. So he killed me about six times, um, nah, about three or four times, not quite six. Right then. Let's have a look at this. <laughs> it's all stressy. Stressy, stressy, right? Natural operators. What's it going to be under? It's going to be under. Mana Steel. Well, a couple of things I want. I want a Ring of Magnetization. Now, for that, I need to make some Mana Steel. And I need to make a Mana Lens. Mana Lens are real easy. It's just a lens, a gold, and a, a gold and iron. And the lens itself is just more Mana Steel or a grass plane. So that's really easy. That's a really simple way of getting. I'm getting a, a, a magnet, so I'm be making that straight away. I'm also going to make the Sojourner's Sash. Now this, I believe, needs a couple of runes, yeah, and then just a bit of leather. So a rune of earth, mushroom, block of coal. I'm going to get all these bits made. And uh, rune of air, bit of carpet, a feather, and a string. I don't know if I've got a feather. Have I got any feathers? Uh, no, so I'm going to have to go on the hunt for feathers. And which seeds can go in there. So that's two of the things I'm going to get ready to make. And the third thing... I might make a band of mana. Ah, uh, Paraclast. Mm. Paraclast pendant's going to be good for going into the nether, so that it's set on fire. And for people like the email just outside, because there's plenty of mobs who uh, attack with fire. So they're all pretty straightforward, these items. A band of mana actually generates mana to repair the armour. Which is pretty cool. So, actually, where do I find out where Mana Steel is? Mana Steel Army. Let's just look in the. Here we go. Mana Detect. Um, mana Steel Equipment. There we go. Mana Steel, it's like iron. Somewhat superior in enchant ability and durability. Whether well, it's damaged if there's mana available in the inventory, such as a mana tablet, which is why I made a mana tablet, they'll use that instead. But if you have a mana. So basically, the self-repairing tools. If I have a mana um, ring on, they'll, that'll generate mana and it'll repair these for me. So as you can see, there's a full set of all these wonderful things, which I'm going to go at. And so I need 24 for the armor. Um, 25, 26. I don't think I need shears yet. Well, 28, 51, 32, 35. So 35 iron in total. So it's not bad, is it? So I'll go get all that made. I'll go get all these runes made for all these rings and stuff. And I should be back when I've got some bits done. And I'm back. And I died to an enderman. Um, I went down to the bottom of the world. I was looking for some slams at first. And uh, I remember I saw some essence berry bushes that I couldn't quite reach your army. I don't want to go down there. So I thought I'll go and fight some stuff and get a bit of damage so you can see this in action. And it's, look at that, it's gone down quite quick. So I do need to get these enchanted and enchanting is going to be one of my main focuses once I've got uh, a couple of other things done. But now if I take my mana tablet out, you should see that this mana tablet is going to start getting all its mana, mana drunk up. And there you go, look. So all my armor's repaired. My stuff repaired, the sword's taking a bit. You can see it doesn't take a great deal, does it? It doesn't take a lot out of the mana tablet, so that mana tablet's gonna last me a while. So that's very cool. It's uh, it's minus one bag slot, but that's alright. Now slams sometimes they can be hard to find. You can you can climb up to the slam islands, which I think they've got dungeons on now. Uh, and if you get a green slam blocks, you can break them down into separate slams. Or so another thing you can do is uh look around for the new Matty craft slam things to plant these you've got to throw them down you actually have to press q and you can't right click them you've got to throw them onto the ground and then they should take and the slime ones once they've grown creaky chair creaky chair once they've grown which takes a little bit of a while with a watering can the uh, sigil of green growth certainly feels quicker 
Come on, guy. Hurry up. Hm. Got a free flower out of it. Lovely. Come on. Du, 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 du. Uh, money music. Okay, that's his fully grown state. What you should start seeing any second now is a slime start to squeeze its way out of there. Come on, don't make me lie. liar. There you go, look, see little bits of slime popping out, and then boom. And yeah, uh, he damaged when he got landed. So, there is an easy way if you are struggling to get slams. And now I need a slam for the. Are they all gone? Oh, yeah, I'm going to break that because I don't want slams popping out all over the place. Can be a bit of a pain to pick up when you haven't got mag uh, a magnet. Right, there we go. So, mm, Alchemy Plus Plus, never heard of it. That's something else I need to look into. There's so many mods that I don't know nothing about. So, one more thing I need to do here. Oh, I forgot to get. Uh, I thought I brought iron. I didn't get iron, damn it. I'll take a bit of damage here. Screw it. This should be the last bit of damage I take because any minute now, I'm going to get. Um, Four resist, which should be really cool. Right, back up we go. So yeah, self-repairing tools, cool. So if I get sharpness five, I'm gonna start working on an Ender IO enchanter. Um and get sharpness five and unbreaking and stuff that should make the mana use a bit less, you know? And uh, I've got an half decent set of set of gear until I can get better stuff. So them three wanna go in there. There we go. So now uh does it even want them? Don't even want them. Oh god, I'm wasting your time on man. <laughs> I know <sighs> two sand, a melon, a slime ball. Two sand, melon a slime ball, a rune of earth and a rune of air. Rune of earth and a rune of air. I've already made the run of F and the run of F, so there's already ready. The slams, by the way, I had a, so I went on a little adventure yesterday. Still looking for a witch, and that there's a jungle biome. Sorry, not the slam, the melons. That there's a big jungle biome, massive jungle biome. And in 1.7.10, there is um, overworld melon spawns in jungles, so you can actually find melons. You don't have to find them in dungeons like you used to have to, which is uh, quite nice. As if I went and got that bloody steel, uh, iron even. There we go, so there's the last of the runes that I needed. So I think I've got all the runes made. So now if I go into my crafting table, we should be able to make some fancy stuff. So first up, I'm going to go with a bit of glass, four ingots. I'm going to get me a mana lens. Cool. We'll clear that. Combine that with an iron and a gold. Gets me a magnetizing mana lens. Wonderful. Clear that. And then make a ring shape around that. And I've got a wonderful ring of magnetization. Possibly a bit cheap, these. What do you reckon? Um, next up, four string, man of steel ingot, fire, and that summer one that I just made. So there's a the summer one. Fire, air, and air, if you get three at a time. So I had one left from yesterday when I made the. Uh, when I made something. Uh, what did I make? Don't know what I made. I don't know what's for time. Um, what did I make? I don't know. Uh, I made something yesterday that used Run of Fire, so I, I've, I've got one of them spare. Was that four string? And one of them, and them ones actually need to be up there, don't they? There we go. Power class pendant, so now I will not set on fire. I will take fire damage, but I won't set on fire. Wonderful. And a sash. So that's the air, the air. Clear. Uh, F, four of them, and that last man I still ingot gets me the sash. Wonderful. 
So now it's dark. We can sleep before I get jumped. Is there a little hint of what I've been messing around with there? If you were, if you saw the chat, I just made a tier five blood altar in some single player test world. Uh, made a tier five blood altar. These are things that I've looted, by the way, out of chests. Uh, a tier five blood altar with funky locomotion frame movers, so that it all flattens down. So instead of it being on five levels, it all comes flat. So I'm hoping to make that in this uh, world when I get a bit further into it. Which one should I have? Let's have the uh, let's keep the runic shield one on for now. Now I'm keeping one ring slot empty. I could make a mana uh, that mana ring that I mentioned. I will be getting angel wings once I have got these guys. I will be making them once I've got another star. So uh, I might have to try these ones. Ah, Gaia spirits rule that. Um, if you saw my yesterday's die wolf episode, you saw me do similar stuff to this, but with the higher tier. I did the uh, Terra Steel stuff and raised stuff. So now, what have I got? I've got a magnet, so if things throw on the floor, it'll come back to me. If you throw things on the floor, it'll wait a few seconds extra before it comes back to you, so it, you can chuck things down without having to turn it off all the time. And if you press Shift, it does um, stop things coming to you. That's pretty cool. Let's press Cap Lock, idiot. So that's not coming to me because I've got Shift pressed. So I'm let go of Shift. Boom. So I've got a magnet. Wonderful. Uh, I've got a fire resist and I've got speed, step up, a bit more jumping, and no fall damage. Ooh, I'm lying. Oh, <laughs> I thought no fall damage. I thought I'd give me no fall damage. Yeah. Okay, maybe it does give me fall damage. That would have been funny if I'd have died, wouldn't it? Funny for you, not for me. Right then, uh, I guess. Let's move on to something else now. Okay, let's do a bit of. You can go in there. You can go in there. I don't know what that is, so I'll put that in there for now. And. Oops, what are you in there? You can go in there. That still should be actually rare. Cool. So I'm going to start on Blood Magic. I'm going to start doing a little bit of that. And uh, I want to get on with. Farmcraft as well. I don't know which way to start. Um, what I had up, just throwing that on the floor for no reason. Come here. What I had up was that these cows, when I've been killing them, was uh, in range of my altar to give me a little bit of blood in there, but they haven't been. So I guess I need to make a, uh, a sacrificial dagger. So for a sacrificial dagger, I believe is that, that. And I'm still doing things like I've got a crafting table, even though I haven't. So let's just actually go into the crafting table and do it properly. That, that, and some of them. Me a sacrificial knife, cool, and I believe. Oh, my last diamond! I've run out of diamonds. Uh, I believe it's a diamond I need in it, if I remember rightly. So, there we go. That's how you get blood into your blood altar. Now, I showed you the blood altar the other day. If you've seen any of my stuff, you've seen me do this. If you are new to my channel or new to the pack, um, or new to modded Minecraft or anything like that. I should have put more blood in there first, really. Um, I'll show you the recipe of the blood altar in a minute. This is how you start on blood magic. You make an altar. You make, you don't have to make a knife. You could kill other stuff. I could I could have took this altar downstairs and uh, took blood from the cow and killed them cows, which certainly would go in here. So each time you click with a knife, you lose a heart. So see that? Bam. One heart gone. And I, I, I should have filled this up first. I've, uh, I've done this wrong. I've done this terribly wrong. Because see that it's run out of it's run out of mana, so it's starting to lose progress. Let me fill the fill the altar up first. I'll be back. Okay then. So I've been a little impatient there. I have now put a fair amount of blood into the altar there, and uh, we should be able to now throw the diamond in now. I'm not sure how you'd start with all the sacrifice. I've never had to do it, but I know that some versions, if you watched my yesterday's episode, some versions of the game, they don't have the knife, so I, I think you have to, have to get mobs in here and kill mobs. The cows don't work. I took the auto downstairs to see if it works for the cows, so it maybe has to be aggressive mobs as well. I do not know. It is something that is new to me, I must admit. So I'll put that in there, and while I'm doing that, I'm going to keep um, adding a bit of LP to the network. Actually, to the altar, even. I ain't got a network yet. Oh, meh. 
Uh, as you can see, the full the altar gets the the full of this this uh, red graphic, this blood graphic gets. You see it moving up. I know that's not quite full when it is full. It is fuller. So I know I'm not. I know I ain't full. This can actually hold ten thousand. You don't actually see any of that just yet. But we will do in a minute. There's something I'm going to get us in a minute that's going to help us in our quest. Now I'll just double check. This takes two thousand, and there's certainly there's certainly at least two thousand in there. So this is going to be no worries at getting this weak blood orb, which is what we're going for. There we go. We have got a weak blood orb. And now, if we click that, that becomes bound to me. And that is now my weak blood orb. And that can hold a fair bit 5,000. So the altar can hold 10,000. And that weak blood orb can hold 5,000. But we don't want all that in there yet. Because we want to do something else first. I just want to grab... Um, yeah, I'll, I'll grab a stack. I'll grab a stack of stone. You see, I made a couple of things ready for that farmcraft there as well. What if we what we do now? If we put a stone in there, that'll start getting turned into what's called a, a slate. Now, while that's happening, I'm gonna grab some glass I've cooked up. Where is it? In there. Excellent. And that there has become a slate. What I can do with that is pull that one there. And these slates are used for many things. Um, you can see that we can start making sigils. We can make a lava sigil with that slate. So, um, is that the only tier 1 slate, is it? Lava crystal. We can make it to tier 2 slates, but we need a tier 2 altar for that, which we haven't got yet. So get us to a tier 2 altar. There's the slates, look. We can make it a water sigil. And this is what we're going to make now, a divination sigil. To get us to a tier 2 altar, we need to make these guys blood runes. We need 8, so we need 16 slates. So I'm going to get them 16 slates sorted out off camera. We can also make a uh, sigil of holding. Is that a tier 1? No, no. That needs a tier 3 one there, look. That uses some tier 1s. That's a tier 3 slate in the middle. So the, the sigils I can make are water and lava. don't know why they're in separate crafting things. It's very weird. Hmm. Um, there is, while I'm talking about this, there is actually there's a blood magic add-on that I'm looking forward to playing with as well called Sangomancy. It adds several extra rituals. Um, and it adds some control to to the altar as well, I think. Some uh, redstone control to the altar. So I'm looking forward to using that. This goes like this with the slate in the middle there. Let's put them there for now. And that gets us this guy. It's our first sigil. So the, the tools that you can use in Blood Magic are generally called sigils. The tools that you hold in your hand. Uh, and with that, if I click in the air, you'll see that my current essence, which is the essence in this week Blood Orb, is 556. If we click on the altar, we'll see it's a tier 1 altar, and it's currently got 6,644 in there. So if we put the orb into there, uh, and then click on there again, we'll see that that's going down, and that's going up. So what we're doing is we're storing it in our LP network. So anything that uses LP out in the world takes it from your takes it from your network, which is your orb. It doesn't take it from the altar. So you need to be aware of that. Right. So off camera I will do some slates and stuff. Just before I go, I'm gonna go on a little adventure for the rest of the episode, but just before we do, I'm gonna start a little bit of Thorncraft. Really basic stuff. Got some iron nuggets there. I'm gonna put them into a pattern of five like so and get two of these iron caps. Clear that recipe. Put them either side of a stick. That gets me a wand. So I'm not, I've now got a Thorncraft wand, which is nice. And next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to combine a bottle, an ink sack, a feather, and that's going to get me some scribing tools. Wonderful. Now, what we can do with them is I'm going to click these two items over here in 10. And I have seized up. Have I crashed? Yes, back in a sec. Okay then, I'm back and it's actually been a day since you last saw me. We had an issue with the version of Family Tinker we had. If you crafted a Thumbcraft wand, it crashed you and I couldn't get back on. So it's actually been a day since I last did this, so I've got to try and remember what I was doing. I believe I just made the Iron Caps wooden wand and I was going to show you what you can do with it. And I also, I believe I made... Um, Scraping tools, cool. So this is your, your basic start for Thorncraft. This is what you need. You need to make an iron capped wooden wand, scraping tools, two of these tables, which are just two wood and three planks across the top, if you could picture that as a crafting table. 
plank there, plank there, three slabs. Get you these tables, so you need two of them, and the bookshelf, which is of course three books with wood either side. And what we want to do is we want to click on that guy with our wand, gets that pharmacon, wonderful. And we want to click on that guy with our scribing tools, and that makes it into a research table. What I'm also going to do with this is I'm going to run upstairs. Where I'm on at the minute with Poppy's just maybe crashed or just left. Lucy's effort and Fandermanon. So there's loads of people on the server where I know and loads of people I don't know. It's wonderful. So what I can do with this, I believe I can throw this in my mana pool. I can look. Boom. So now this will refill off mana. Hmm. But how? Looks like it's empty to me. Is it refill out my inventory? Are you refilling out of there? That's it. Uh, looks like it's filled it up. Is it? No, I haven't jumped it. So that looks like it's full. Excellent. So it shows, um, instead of having to get ink, I can refill my scribing tools with mana. So I'm going to get some closer to my uh, research table. So that's going to be a pain. So if you're not done Farmcraft before, I'm not going to go into it a lot now. I just wanted to get started. I wanted to make the basics. So what we can do is you research things in the table here. You research things by looking at them in here and clicking on them. So one of the first things you want is research expertise. You need scribing tools and paper. So let's get scribing tool. Let's see if it works for the upgraded ones and a bit of paper. And then if we click on a research, there we go. It gives you a research note in your inventory, and you can start researching. But as you can see, I've got no aspects to research with. I would need to go looking for aspects. You put that up in there. And it shows you what you are looking for. So uh, that's how you do research. I'm not going to do any now. I've upgraded my altar. It's now a tier 2 altar because I've made some of these blood runes. They're quite straightforward. They take the blank slates and uh, smooth stone around your orb. What I can do now, I can make a new orb. Providing I have got, I believe, an emerald. I've got five that I found on surface deposits. So what we're going to do is... I'm going to Make sure that this is full or thereabouts. <laughs> um, how full are you now? You have got 9,800. Cool. So, one more click with the knife. Let's have some food. One more click with the knife. Gets me to half a heart. So, there we go. One more click with the knife. Now it's full. I'll let my health regen and then I will throw a diamond in there. That'll get us a tier 2 orb. And now, because we are tier 2, we can move on from slates. And we can make the... Well, we can make these things. We could make these things anyway. I can't make that thing got a diamond at the minute. But um, what I can do now is we can move on to tier 2 stuff. Well, tier 2 slates, get you some good stuff. We can start making these things runes of sacrifice and runes of self sacrifice. Now, I want to still capture a witch, I want to see if it works. If I can get a decent LP out of a witch, I'm going to go straight for runes of sacrifice and not bother with runes of self sacrifice. But there we go. All right, that's uh, last, this last magic y thing I'm going to do this episode is make this. I'm going to go for a little run into the nether. Have I got any obsidian? Now, unfortunately for me, my. Um, 10 is that enough for a portal? 3 6. Yeah, it is. Yeah, of course it is. Um, so, take that. And I shall take my flint and steel. I'm going to try and find my way back to, back to link up with my own portal. Now, as you can see, I have made some barrels. There was a big tree up top, and now I've got a decent pick, a, a decent axe. Even though they're pretty slow until I get these enchanted, I decided to. I chopped a bit of it down the other day. I climbed up. It was blocking my sun out for one thing. Um, I climbed up with a tree like that. It took absolutely ages. But you got me loads of wood. I had flowers everywhere. So this is turned off at the minute because I had too many flowers. As you can see, I've got quite a lot of mana. It's almost full. So I have chest, I've barreled up. The, I've got about three, about three stacks of each flower. So I've got plenty of flowers to go out to make more. Which is, uh, which is an alright start. I'm thinking, at the minute, my plan is... To see about automating cake manufacture and running my base off cakes using the cake eating plant. That's my that's my loose plan at the minute. I, I've 
Family lilies are real good, but I don't really want to use family lilies because I've used them a lot in, uh, in my other series. So I want to do something different, right? Let's take this guy out of here. Just jump in between blood magic and um, Thorncraft. I do. I did want to make something else from Thorncraft, and I believe the bits for it are in my crafting table. Let's say. Uh, make sure we keep up with this first, though. So yeah, this uh, this episode is a bit unstructured. I'm jumping between one and the other because I'm going to go back to Thorncraft in just a second because I forgot about something that I thought I'd done. I can't really get many more hearts out of that, can I? But hopefully there'll be enough in there for me to turn this into our tier two orb, which I believe is the apprentice. Is that right? <laughs> Come on. There we go, we have got an apprentice blood orb. Wonderful. So now we have increased click on that bandit to me. And that can go in there. And now we have increased our life pool. Before it was only five thousand. Now I think it's either ten or fifteen thousand. But I'm not gonna do any more with that. I'll do that off camera because I need to take a bit of time doing that. What I can do next episode is and I hope I don't forget, is um I'm gonna make a spell table and I'm gonna make it myself a projectile weapon. Because I haven't got a bow, I'm gonna make myself a projectile weapon using Blood magic. Right then. One more thing for Foundcraft and then I'll go on a little adventure. So in here we have got two pits of gold, two of any shard and one air shard. I don't know what I took them out of there for because I actually want them in there. And if we go shard have a side, gold top and bottom, glass in the middle, no. Shard top and bottom, gold have a side. There we go. You get this guy, Famomata. This is how you start getting the aspects for your table by scanning things. Most things in here I probably won't be able to scan yet because certain things unlock other things, so nothing can be learned from that because it's uh, non vanilla. I need to study things that move before I can do that. So I probably won't be able to do dirt yet either. Oh, there we go. So as you can see there, in the bottom right in the corner, I just gained two research points. So now in my table, I should have two more Terra than I will have had a minute ago. So that's how you get your search points up, right? Let's get my stuff safe. Leave the stuff here that I don't need. Uh, which is basically that. Uh, I'll take everything else with me. Mm, do I need all this with me? If I was to die and lose all that, I won't be very happy. I might as well leave most of this stuff in there. Aren't I? There we go. And I'll sleep. So one of the good things about Opus, map writer, is that I've got a waypoint for my base. Oh, I might not have actually, because I had to reset my client after that crash. So I will get a waypoint for my base. And I'm going to put it under a marker group called bases, because I may have more than one. And I'm going to mark it here. Wonderful. And now, I can't sleep in the net. Yeah, never mind. That's filling up nicely. Oh, is that my chicken? I grabbed the chicken with the other safari net I looted and I put him up there. He generally drops eggs and occasionally drops feathers so the vacuum chest picks them up. So I've just got a little captive chicken there. Seems a bit cruel. I don't know. Does it seem a bit cruel? I've got a paper for. Right. Let's jump into it. Let's eat some food so I regen. This is a dangerous place. Scary and horrible. But I've got my um, my fire pendant on, so I shouldn't get as much fire damage as possible. So I might be alright. Now I think this takes me to Coyante's portal. So I want to load in. So this is where I came through the other day. Certainly someone's been here because there's cobble around which wasn't here before. So if I look on the map now, um, it just doesn't show it. Hmm. I thought it showed my waypoint in a different dimension. Aha, there we go. So I have to work my way to there. If I get my way to there, 
I'll be able to make a portal there and link myself back to my base. So I'm going to go on a little journey. I'll try and make my way over that way. And uh, when I've found somewhere close, we'll see if I can do, see if I'm doing this right or see if I'm getting it all wrong. Okay, then I'm in way over here. Um, I've come from over there. I'm in way over to roughly where my base is. So now, hopefully, if I make a portal here, and I'm just going to do the standard uh, portal because that's all I've got the stuff for. I'm hoping this should link me to my base. Um, Nether quartz explodes and causes mobs to aggro you, so I've had to fight a few pigmen. My armor's done all right though, and I've got a couple of raft shards, which is cool. I do like the forbidden magic; it's uh, it's a very cool mod. So, and I've got a fire flower seed. So, a yeah, little wasn't very ex wasn't very exciting to be honest. wasn't really worth filming, but I made my way over here. So, hopefully, this will link me back to my base. Let's have a look. See if I've See if I know something about vanilla or see if I've got this wrong. Ta da! Yay! I know stuff. There we go, I am back. So now I've got a portal that actually comes to my base. Excellent. So I can now go explore the nether. Bit of storm missing behind there. I have to sort that out. It's untidy, isn't it? I can explore the nether, look for a nether fortress. Um, Where's it put me? This is not where I was. Oh, you little bugger. Where the friggin' was it put me? Put me underneath it, I think. Is this where I was? It's... Um, well, I guess I've got to find my portal. Son of a... Bastard thing. Well, okay. I guess I'll wrap up there. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the episode. It's a bit all over the place. I'm not not really focused on what I was trying to do, was I? So I was I kind of jumping a bit all over the place. But I've started the three main magic mods that I want to go at, and uh, we shall be exploring them in with great gusto, let's say. So I hope you join me for the adventure, and I'll see you next time. Cheers. Bye.